Good afternoon, everybody. I am Will. And I'm Lynn, and we are Lynn and Will of LynnandWill.com. Happy, 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 happy Monday. Welcome. Hey, uh, we have some great information for you. I don't know if you saw our live earlier today, but we are so happy that the beaches are open and we got to take a, a little bit more than a 10 mile bike ride on the beach. Beautiful day out there. A lot of people practicing social distancing, I guess you would call it. But you know, you could do that and the beach is pretty wide wide open and, and kind of a good thing to. It's beautiful. Yeah. Take advantage of what you can. And that was just our mindset today. It was, and it was a good thing. Made us feel good. Hope that video made you feel good because you know, hey, you still get out and do something, right? So, um, as usual, uh, we have, we're going to break up our, our lives into three parts this, uh, this week. And we're going to cover the four steps to maximize productivity and resourcefulness when dealing with financial stress and worry, and especially in a situation that we're going through now. So, um, as you know, you know, everybody's in a lockdown or in a quarantine or can't go out of their homes, especially if you're in a certain age and things like that. Well, this just really hasn't happened in our lifetime because I think the last time the United States was in a quarantine was in 1918 during the Spanish flu. Well, so people were locked in their homes back then. I don't even, they didn't have TV. No. Uh, maybe they, yeah, I think they had Scrabble. So uh, we are now, uh, locked in our homes and can't go much where. And if you don't have a business uh, inside your home, then you have a business outside your home, you really can't practice that business. So everybody's looking for a place or a job, a J-O-B or a business that you can run out of your home. And uh, people are looking for a business that you can run, especially from social media, because it's one of the best platforms to do that with. Um, so you remember those, that quarantine, I said 1918, uh, they didn't have uh, the internet, let alone uh, Facebook or any other social media platform. So uh, we are uh, pleased to uh, provide some information to you about that. But anyway, so today we're going to talk about the steps to maximize productivity and resourcefulness. Questions? Oh yeah, we have a question. All right. So, you know, everybody's going through these stressful times right now. So um, if you, uh, what we'd like to ask you is how do you deal with stress in the current situation? Go ahead and drop that in the comments box below. Um, if you don't feel stressful, you know, give, us, uh, give us a two. If you do feel stressful, give us a one. And, uh, and if you, you, know, you feel like it, go ahead and put the comment in or put the, the, how you alleviate your stress in the comments section below. So before we get started with any of all that, if you're coming to us live, give us a little love by dropping us a heart emoji in the comments box below. If you're coming to us on a replay later, give us a hashtag replay. We'll give you a shout out later. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns during this Facebook Live, um, please drop them in the comments box below, or you can simply send us a message through Facebook Messenger. So, uh, Lynn, why don't you give us a little uh, our audience an introduction of who we are and where we come from. So, we are Lynn and Will of LynnandWill.com. We are online coaches and trainers to help you grow your business using the attraction marketing skill sets to propel you into the 21st century uh, building a business massively on a global scale, on a rapid scale, and guess what? Targeting your exact audience that you need to grow your business. Enroll new business partners or enroll customers. How cool is that? Nice. Chasing is no longer, prospecting is no longer, attracting is in the here and the now. And we're doing it, and you can do it too. Attraction Marketing Works. If it's anything you're interested in, get in touch with us. It's an amazing concept and a great skill set to learn because uh, you're branding yourselves. So you uh, work, you, the company works for you. You don't work for the company. So, um, uh, with that being said, our topic to. What, did I interrupt you? I'm sorry. No, no, that's okay. <laughs> hey, but I just wanted to let you know that hey, I'm wearing this nifty shirt here. I am a Cincinnati Reds fan, but uh, you, as you know, because of the situation, we 
they couldn't have opening day. I, I believe opening day was supposed to be March 26th. So I'm wearing the jersey uh, because of that. This is our opening day on Monday. So <laughs> I think the uh, opening day for baseball now is, is pushed back to May at some point in time. But anyway, uh, Lynn, why don't you go ahead okay. and start with our first, uh, first item. So our topic today is how to deal with the emotional stress of being an entrepreneur. And what I'm going to share with you is what I do to deal with my personal emotional stress. So for me, everything starts with mindset, right? Your mind. If you focus on negativity, what grows? Negativity. Negativity. If you focus on positivity, what grows? Positivity. Right. So in, instead of thinking about everything that I no longer can do, go to the gym, go to Pilates, go to yoga, what can I do? Well, the Pilates studio and the yoga studios are all streamlining their workouts. So you can do that. Thank you to the internet. So mindset for me is everything. And to help with my mindset, number one, first and foremost, is exercise. I don't even necessarily exercise to stay fit, although that's a great byproduct of it. For me, exercise is my mental therapy. That's what helps keep me grounded, helps to get me pumped up, and that also helps propel me with the thoughts about what I'm going to accomplish that day and it just aligns everything for me perfectly. What else helps with me is I always have a book that I'm reading. Whether it's self-empowerment, self-improvement, uh, anything that interests me, I always have a book that I read so I can, I can go to it on a daily basis and kind of escape for a little bit, even if it's just a half hour, and read and get filled up with that. What else do I like to do? I like to journal. I like to write my thoughts down. That helps me not only with attaining my goals and what I want to achieve, but it helps me just process my thoughts and my feelings and my emotions. And all of us right now, I'm sure, are feeling a lot of emotional upheaval as our world has been changed upside down. So, also, quiet time. Isn't quiet time great where you can just relax? Not really be around anybody, but have your own little corner? Yeah. Where you can have quiet. Give yourself a time out. Or even getting outside in nature. I don't know if everybody's under full-on quarantine in maybe some certain cities. We are not yet. Thank you. We can go to the beach. So today getting outside doing a 10 mile bike ride was great. So it just recharged both of us. And as our business is online, everything- We were swimming in the ocean too. And as our business is online, we can, uh, we can work on our business too. Our daily method of operation, our weekly method of operation, our monthly method of operation. There's always something to do and it feels good to be able to work on our business, not only working on our business, but building our business. Yeah, I can imagine if I had a job outside the home and having to think about, oh God, there's nothing, I can't do anything. So I'm just in there twiddling my thumbs. So the, some of those those items that you mentioned are great ways to, re, to alleviate your stress and to move on with your life. Because uh, everybody needs to. I mean, we just can't sit here and be stagnant, twiddle our fingers. No, no, not at all. You have to take advantage of this time, whether it's cleaning out your closet, cleaning out the clutter in your head. It's, you know, it's a time to reassess, to reevaluate and figure out what you want to do. Think about what you can do and do it. And you have to really let go of what you can't do. Right. As we no longer control that. So, so is that about it? That's what I was going to say today. That's to perfect. What I mean, me. how I relieve stress, it's a lot of four-letter words sometimes. My dad used to say, come on, son, let's go out in the garage. I'll teach you a few dirty words. So <laughs> I knew that's how he alleviated stress. So uh, I'm much the same way, I'd imagine. But uh, no, I kind of follow around with her and kind of like do the same thing. But uh, yeah, she's quite the person to follow. Um, what are the other two, uh, uh, other three things that we got to talk about the next... Uh, couple of days on Wednesday and 
Believe you're going to succeed. That's a biggie. That's not number two? No. Oh. Ask for help okay. in a clear, concise way. All right. Three, separate your stress from the work at hand. That is so powerful, right? If you overwhelm yourself with the future instead of living in the now and tackling what you need to do now, instead of overwhelming all everything you want to accomplish, then you just get overwhelmed and you really spin your wheels and you don't really do anything where right. you're propelling yourself forward. What do I always say? How do you eat an elephant? <laughs> One bite at a time. So, so those are some of the things that we will be talking about on Wednesday and Friday with our Facebook Lives then. Right. And um, as always, I'm going to put the uh, link to this blog that we're discussing today, Wednesday and Friday, uh, on this Facebook Live when it's all over with. So go ahead and, and hop on that and, and uh, hit that link, smash that link, whatever you might want to do. It's going to take you to that blog. It's a great read. There's some great information about even more than what we discussed. Uh, and uh, it, within that link, there'll be a, another link that's going to pop up on you. And it's going to let you enroll blah, 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 in a free 10-day attraction marketing boot camp. That's free 10 days of great information given to you in a video format, in a reading format, in a blog format. And it's just amazing stuff. That's how Lynn and I got started. And we've never looked back. We're so blessed that we actually clicked on that. And we would hope that you do. And, by the way, if you uh, get on that uh, Attraction Marketing Boot Camp and you like it, you know, hit us up, question us, let's get on a vid call with us. Because we can give you the book, the Attraction Marketing uh, Formula Boot Camp for a, reduct, a reduced price, but you gotta let us know. We can give you our price on that deal. And it's a great book. We've both read that a couple, two or three times. We've got ours outlined and marked up and all over the place. So uh, it's a great, a great information, a great read on how attraction marketing actually works in the big umbrella or in the big picture and how it can be related to your network marketing business. Isn't attraction marketing just the word itself? Isn't that great? to attract your customers and your business partners, to grow your business online, working anywhere in the world, not even from your laptop, but from your cell phone. That's yeah. awesome. Attract your cu customers, attract your business partners. Right. It works, it worked for us. The light bulb went off, you have nothing to lose. It's free. It's a skill set that's your right. own, it's yours. If you wanna talk to us, send us a message. We could do a Zoom call, a video chat. Right. Or you can hop on over to our webpage and learn a little bit more. That's linandwill.com. Go to the, uh, the menu where it says... Work with us. Work with us. And schedule yourself a 20-minute Zoom call or a, Facebook mess or a Facebook call or however you want to call. And uh, we'll certainly sit down and have a conversation with you about it. And if this... We hope this gave you some value... Uh, some little tip, a little go golden nugget, something that you can sink your teeth into. And if you like our content, give us a follow. Yeah. Start following us. Why not? And hey, look, I know there's struggling network marketers out there, especially now more than ever. If you're doing it the old school method, the offline method, guess what just happened? Guess what happened about a week or two ago? It stopped. You can no longer do that because of what is happening in this world. So why not give the online method a chance? You know, get, do that, that free 10-day attraction marketing boot camp. It doesn't what? How much does it cost you? Nothing. It's free. It's free. <laughs> so if you don't like what? it, if it's not There's your no thing, cost. then don't do it. Just say, yo, oh, ignore the emails or whatever. But, you know, it, 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 why not try it? What else are you doing? I mean, I'm sure you already cleaned out the closets 10 times. Yeah. So, Let go of the worry. Just concentrate on what you can do. If, you, if you're interested in building your business online and attraction marketing sounds like a good fit, see for yourself. There's see if no it is. other time in history, no other time in history that are people out there that are looking for an alternative way to make money. That's number one. Number two, they are looking to make that money at home. Okay? And then the kicker. Number three, 
They want to make that money on what? Social media. And why social media? Because first of all, on Facebook alone, there's over 2 billion people on the dang thing. And what are they doing now that they're in quarantine? They're on Facebook, even more than ever. Our, you know, our, our phones are going crazy. Our messages are going crazy. We wake up every morning with emails. It's, it's nuts. So, uh, and then lastly, what was the last thing? Oh, and if there's 45% of the world that is on some platform of social media. So if you don't like Facebook, if you like Instagram or some of those other ones. Yeah. LinkedIn, YouTube, there's so many ways to apply the attraction marketing principles. It is. To any social media platform. If Facebook isn't your gig, there are others. There's so many other options. But attraction marketing works. It does. So. so anything else you it, want to say, Lynn? No. All right. I think we've taken up much, uh, most of, uh, enough of your time, if you want to say that. But again, if you really want to know a little bit more information about this, reach out to us. We're there to help you because there were people that reached out to help us. I mean, I, I can't go back and, and uh, look at the Adrian as her name and go, dang it, Adrian, why'd you show me that? Heck no. I'm like, dang it, Adrian, I'm thank the, God, thank the Lord that you showed us you know, the way and this new, this new way of of uh, running a business from home. Or even phones. for me, on my phone, more so than even from home. Right. I want to be able to do it on my phone. Black and home. you can. It's fun. What the heck? It's fun. Great people. Oh, great people too. Like-minded oh. people who are all concentrating on growing and evolving and developing and staying positive amongst negative. It's great to be around empowered people that are really making a difference in their lives and other people's lives and in the world. I right. love it. Yeah, we were supposed that to. I'm forever grateful. We were for. supposed to be in LA uh, at a three day conference uh, with this attraction marketing. And, uh, you know, of course we couldn't go to LA. So you know what they did? They pulled up, uh, they pulled up everybody, got everybody together and they said, okay, let's do it from Zoom. And Zoom, we Zoomed for three days for about 11 hours a day. It was great information. It was, uh, wonderful uh, meeting people. It was interesting to see on a Zoom call versus the normal conference setup where everybody's facing one direction to one person. With a Zoom, guess what you're doing? You're seeing everybody's face in front of you. So it's almost like you're sitting in a circle or across from everybody within the room instead of everybody facing one way towards the presenter. So there are some really cool things that came out of that. It's the first time I've had a Zoom of that size. I think there's 40, One. 40, 41 people, over 40 people in that in that room. And it worked out quite well. I was pretty impressed. Oh, it was great. Yeah. It was great. So with that being said, we need to wrap this up. We yeah. don't want to eat up your time. Exactly. you got to clean another closet out or something. So happy Monday. We hope wherever you are in the world... Your world is as good as it possibly can be at this moment in time. Right. We wish you the best. We look forward to seeing you Wednesday at 3. And, uh... He's just staring at Hey, I, you know, if you're coming to us uh, somewhere in the world, we always like to... Am I supposed to get out Yeah, no. no. So, so, you know, drop us. Tell us where you're coming from because we are broadcasting over 30... 30... Uh, yeah, what country countries. are you coming from? Yeah, let us We'd know. love to know that. Yeah. And if you got value from this, hey... Uh, get, drop us a one down in the comments box because uh, we want to know whether or not you got value from this Facebook Live. We're in training too, you know. Yes, but we're As building always. and growing and it's amazing oh, yeah. and I'm so grateful. So, uh, so ha happy Monday if it's still Monday in your part of the world. Have a great week. Okay. Do what you can. Mindset is everything. Focus on what you can. Go Reds. And we're wishing you love and light and the best of everything. Exactly. So, see you Wednesday, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Reach out to us. We can help you. Peace out, everybody. Hope Peace you have out. a wonderful week. Uh -huh.